If you never see Weihai Road, that's okay. But traveling through China without paying Weihai the place of visit is simply unthinkable. Jutting from Shandong Province's easternmost point, Weihai is one of China's greatest tourist destinations. Formerly a small fishing village, Weihai is now a major port of call for Yellow Sea shipping and a scenic destination of almost unimaginable beauty. Yes, beautiful and environmentally sound. Weihai was rated as one of the top 100 cities to live by the United Nations in a recent survey. So come with me as we explore its thousand kilometers of coastline, 100 plus isles, and bountiful bathing beaches. This time on Getaway. Ancient Chinese legends profess that God lives on an island at the eastern edge of the universe. It is for this reason that scores of Chinese emperors and kings sought immortality on the high seas. East they sailed in search of the hallowed place where the sun first rises. Just as Alexander the Great and the Caesars of Rome believed that. Where they lived was the entire known world. So did the Chinese emperors of old. In fact, China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, believed that this was the eastern part of the universe. So, welcome to the beginning of the world. The beginning of the known world, indeed. Chang Shan Tou, and if I had to pick a place to begin the known universe, I suppose I couldn't have picked a better one than this. It is gorgeous. Now today, of course, we know this isn't the beginning of the universe. It is, however, the farthest eastern point in all of mainland China, and it lies just 180 kilometers from the peninsula of Korea. In legend handed down from one generation to the next. Chang Shan Tou has long been regarded as the place where the sun begins its daily journey, burned across the sky. As such, Chang Shan Tou enjoys special status as the god's dwelling place and a resort par excellence. Come explore the beauty of the real Far East and the place China's ancient kings call the end of the universe. This time on. <laughs> As I approached the extreme eastern tip of mainland China, my excitement grew. Perhaps I would really find the birthplace of the sun. The vast ocean seemed to envelop me in a warm embrace. Waters broad in scope, whose fresh scent and clear blue sky. Gave me the comfortable impression that Weihai's environment was as sound as its picturesque vistas. A trip through China's tourist destinations is really a trip through the annals of its amazing history. I am standing on the spot where China's first emperor, the man who united this great country over 2,000 years ago, came in search of the key to immortality. His royal name was Qin Shi Huang, and he was a brave warrior and a skilled statesman. But he was very scared of death, so he came here with his best seaworthy men, looking for islands that had the elixir for immortality. He came twice: once in 219 B.C. and then again in 210 B.C. Both times he failed. The second time he came, he actually died of natural causes. In order to hide his death from rebellious officials who may begin an insurrection before he could get back to the capital, his closest advisers took fish from this very spot in the ocean and put it in two wagons behind his imperial train. They did that so that if the stench of his body became evident, people would think it was the fish. That story is true, and it all began right here, over 2,000 years ago.
on the easternmost tip of mainland China, just 180 kilometers from Korea, you can find history, mystery, and some of the coolest marine animals you ever thought you'd get this close to, right here on Getaway.